it's been described as one of the major economically impactful projects under the current government of Nigeria. The Lekki Deep Seaport started three years ago is now a reality. Its conception dates over 10 years back, but the actual ground digging to put up Nigeria's first deep seaport and to congest the largest and busiest ports of Apapa and Tinkan, both in Lagos, began in 2019. This event marked its completion and the excitement is palpable for all the parties involved in the project which was delivered by a combined workforce of holy Nigerians and Chinese. I make bold to recommend it as a case study of how partnerships between public and private enterprises should be conducted. I must at this juncture commend the effort of this construction crew of over 150 Chinese and 1,500 Nigerians that kick-started this project. As one of the most modern ports that can be found around the West Africa subregion, the Lekki port will adopt the most modern method of operations that will generate thousands of direct and indirect job opportunities as well as billion dollars of revenue. For me, Lekki port as the first DC port in Nigeria is now officially completed. It's our expectation that the combined ecosystem of Lekki port and Lagos Free Zone will create the most efficient and competitive industrial enclave within Nigeria. It's not just another project completion for the governor of Lagos State, but a re-echo of the success story that the Lekki Free Zone has become. This new port will position Lagos as a new marital logistics hub, not only in West Africa, in the whole Central and West Africa region, while also positioning our country, Nigeria, to attain full economic leadership potential. This is also the International Day, especially for China and France and Nigeria. So we have trilateral cooperation to make this project. More critical national infrastructure will spring up in the area Mr. Sawolu promises. And along with the Lekki Port Project Partners, he says, his government is taking the right steps to ensure that the port operations and especially cargo evacuation do not constitute a burden to the environment in the foreseeable future, but contribute appropriately to the growth of the nation's economy, as envisaged 